If I made my YouTube channel today, I would probably call it something like Department Store Gaming. Many of my fondest memories were of being dropped off at the electronics display when my parents did their shopping at the local department stores, or sneaking away from them to hang out at the game display when they decided that they needed to just prohibition me from video games, because we all know how well prohibition works throughout history, don't we? Anyways, there would be someone playing Super Metroid, or Mario 64, or Star Fox, and a small audience of people either waiting their turn to play when the current player got a game over, or watching them do their best performance of running through the game to complete it. If it wasn't obvious, my parents hated video games, and I'm pretty sure they still do. They swore that video games would die out before the year 1990, and I'm pretty sure they hold a grudge against the video game industry for becoming a billion dollar industry, bigger than Hollywood, rather than dying out like they predicted. They'd rather I spent whatever I spent building up my game collection on plane tickets to see the world and those special slide film cameras so I can put the parents through those insufferable slideshows of my travels that the old people in my life used to put me through. There's no appeal in that for me. What, what'll I have today if I went traveling back then? I'll tell you, a prison record or a tombstone? I'm absent-minded and clumsy enough to do just the wrong thing in the wrong way, in the wrong country, around the wrong people, at the wrong time, that I get make me regret spending on a plane ticket if I even live to regret it. If I did the wrong thing in a video game, I can load a save file and start over, for the cost of a couple millijoules of electricity. Do department stores still exist? I know Zeller's hasn't been a thing for a long time. Woodward's is long gone, along with Kmart. My local malls, the ones that aren't dead malls by now, have grocery stores at their bookends now, if anything. There was one, The Bay, downtown, although even that I'm not sure exists anymore. I've been isolating the last couple of years, catching up on my gaming backlog and having a gay old time discovering new friends through gaming, live streaming, social media, and a little bit through dating sites, and I don't think I'd have things any other way. I mean, I'd like to make those things better in whatever way I can, especially while people need to use them, which is partially why I have a Patreon and other crowdfunders going. The dating site environment is a minefield right now. You have to pay up front if you want the site to function the way that dating site's used to. The site will tell you that someone matched you, but will not show you the person you matched until you've either paid them or you decide whether or not you like everyone else on the site first. And then you'll find out that the person that you matched was a bot account or a scammer. There needs to be a dating site out there where the site owners cannot get paid until after they've matched people and those people are happy with the match. But until we can figure out how to do that, I do have a dating site plan on the back burner where it's just totally free. The only issue I need to work out is how to do website security on an indie budget. I've been learning SFML while keeping an eye on Godot Engine version 4. I'm finding it easier to make something playable, which has me worried that it'll turn out horribly inefficient when it comes to making a real usable app or playable game, but it seems like something that might be worth trying. It runs nicely on my absolute lowest spec computer, so I'm probably going to pursue it further for a little project. As always, thank you for watching or listening. The video description has my essential info. Special thanks to Phoenix Astra and Joshua J. Sloan for being my top Patreon supporters so far. If you cannot contribute money to our projects but want to contribute something, then I also take tips in Basic Attention Token, both here on YouTube and on my tweets. If you can't afford either of those things, then that's totally okay. I'm hoping to make as much of what I can make as free or as cheap as possible, without going into one of those deals where the consumer is the product. Twitter and Patreon links are in the description. I hope you'll look forward to my next update, whenever and wherever it may be.